up plant squad welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Pam I have tons of plants that's what we talk about here that's what we're obsessed with and I am so happy to see you back if you've already been here that was awkward <laughs> uh... so I know what you're thinking Pam why are your hands so pale and to that I say I don't really appreciate your attitude now, clearly what we're doing today is capitalizing on YouTube trends because that's how we're rolling here. We're just, we have a lot, we have a lot of free time. We have a lot of free time right now. <laughs> so here I have today's victim or subject of a repotting. So we're going to try to repot this succulent arrangement with tiny hands. So I know what you're thinking. Why, why are you repotting it? So I'll tell you, um... So as you can see, uh, pot is broken. And um, if you'd like to know why the pot is broken, I can show you. Basically, we're gonna take this here succulent arrangement apart and we're gonna put it into these two normal ass pots right here. So I've got my I've got my dirt right here, and I'm just using um, this Hoffman's Cactus Soil. It was what was available at the store the day that I went. And if you don't know, cactus soils just have a little bit more sand in them. <laughs> Can you take me seriously right now? Because I can't. Because of course, as we all know, cactus do not like wet feet. And they're not gonna like tiny hands either. First things first, I'm gonna have to get this soil into these pots. And I, I got a spoon because for some reason I thought that would be easy. Er. I think what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just We'll scoop it in, right? We'll just scoop it in. It'll be fine. I gotta, I gotta kneel for this. Brings me back to Catholic school. Just get that right on out of here. Okay. Yeah, no problem. We got this. I, I probably should have put something down on the table before I started this. But it's okay. The maid will get it. There's one. So next I've got to try to get all of these succulents out of the pot without, uh, you know, ruining all of them. So I think, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to go in under a little bit and we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah. See that works a little bit, right? Okay, so obviously we don't want to plant in bone dry soil because then when you water it, all the roots will move around. So what I have here is my, my turkey baster, which is not cheating because I do actually use this to water when I plant stuff, just because it gives me a little bit more control over how much water goes in, where I put it, all that jazz. I hate when I say that. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, stir that up with the hands. Great. Now we've lifted up the roots here, so I'm just gonna try. Hmm, okay. Maybe we should go for hmm, the bigger, clunkier ones first, right? Right. Okay, so we're just gonna just gonna hoist this guy right up over here. And uh, I'd love to tell you the names of things, but um, I am not a succulent girl. So you could tell me perhaps in the comments, I'm sure I've written down most of them somewhere, but I just, I never remember. 
I'm pretty sure this one right here is a jade, right? It's variegated, variegated, variegated. Uh, press this down in here and I'm going to give that a little bit of moisture because those roots were really dry. Just going to keep coming right out on the table because I don't think about things. Oh, we've got this little guy here. I'm going to tuck him in right here just so he can hang on to the edge for a few. And then I'll dig out this little, this is a burrow's tail, I think. Boop. And I'm going to hang that guy off the edge a little bit too, so that when I fill in the dirt, he'll have something to hang on to. So I think I'll put this string of bananas into this pot too. Mm. I'm sure this is literally killing some of you, but I promise I'm being very gentle. As gentle as I can be with hands I can't feel. I'll just add some more dirt. So tell me about your life, guys. How are things going? Are you, uh, did you enjoy your summer? Last one. Man down, man down. I feel like the summer went super fast and I didn't really get to summer. Does anybody else like feel like the summer kind of didn't happen? I don't know if it's just like the fact that the weather hasn't gotten very warm or if time is just flying by me at a catastrophic rate, but I just feel like the summer just got here and it's already, my son has to go back to school next week and it means I have to go back to arguing about homework all the time and I'm not super excited about that. Oh, I lost another piece, shit. Hey. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good here, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna come at this one a little different. All right, let's see. We're gonna think of getting the hang of it. Woo! This is a bad idea. Oh, oh, oh. I know at this point all of you other plant YouTubers are just like, I gotta get me in on this. So allow me to challenge you to repot something with tiny hands. God, don't you just hate when you get dirt under your fingernails? Ugh. Oh, oh my. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm really glad that you guys liked the planty book video. I know that was a little bit different. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here, right? <laughs> oh, I hope that some of you found something to read and you found it helpful. I'm definitely going to keep talking about stuff like that because I think it's important to expand your knowledge and you should do it beyond people on YouTube. And I say that as a person on YouTube. I think it's easy to get caught up in just looking at the first page of Google and, you know, ending your search for answers there. And I think that there's a lot of wisdom to be had in books. I know some of you checked out the On The Ledge podcast Podcast. So if you ended up liking that and you want more planty podcasts, I definitely recommend Bloom and Grow Radio. And that's done by um, a woman named Maria who's from New York. She recently had Plant Queen on from Instagram and I thought that was a really great episode. And this week she's actually delving into the world of, um, you know, that herb that is now legal in most states that we're not gonna say because I don't wanna get demonetized. Mama's gotta pay off these tiny hands somehow. If you're into outdoor gardening, there is a ton of podcasts and you should, you know, get into outdoor gardening. Don't limit yourself just to house plants. I, I think it's, it's really good to understand plants as they are in their actual environment and not just like as things that we sort of drag from the jungle into our apartments for our own visual aesthetic pleasure. So I think that you should get into all plants. That's just my opinion.
I'm gonna try and tuck this guy into this pot without losing him. I also really like In Defense of Plants, probably my favorite plant-related influencer, if you would, although I'm pretty sure that would make him sick, is Crime Pays But Botany Doesn't. You can look him up on Instagram and YouTube. Incredible. But you're gonna wanna put earmuffs on the little ones, okay? That's all I'm warning you about. Okay, almost got this knocked out. Be like a Jedi right now. Oh, geez. realized there was. I just realized there was more plants over here. I'm not done yet. I don't have enough room for all of these, <laughs> or enough soil. Fudge. Ooh, how are we gonna do this? Okay, so I think that I'm gonna just try to take some of these roots down because they're a little bit too long. Let's see if I can do that without. There we go. Okay, so not the best way to cut your roots. Don't do this, kids. Clearly I didn't think this through. This is terrible. And I will get them into something a little better in the future, but for right now, this is the best we got. I think my approach is gonna be to make a deep hole and then put them in there and stuff it down. That's what she said. Ah! I'm also learning right now that I'm way too old to sit on the floor for this long. So I've been in the process of rehoming some of my plants, just trying to get rid of some of the doubles, plants that have like split and I have multiple of the same species and stuff because I just have no room left. So I've been trying to get through that so I can take you guys on a new plant tour around the apartment. It's really hard to film those because you're filming essentially like into a window in daylight. And I don't know if anybody else has like a ton of trouble with that, but I have to film on my phone right now. So it's kind of a nightmare. Okay, I think I dropped one. Oh, yep. Oh, come back. Come back. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. These little ones are taking such a beating. I'm sorry. So I won an Instagram giveaway this week. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's for an anthurium. And um, I'll put a little picture of it like right over here so that you can see it. How cool is that? Um, as soon as I get that package, I will definitely open it up and show you guys what it looks like. I'm pretty excited. I mean, did I do this? I'm pretty sure that I did this. More water. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, it went in my legs. I'm gonna do the old pot tap, right? I'm not gonna say that I killed this, um, but I'm gonna say that I crippled it. So, th see? Here you go, I'm gonna drop it. 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 All right, I did it. I'm as surprised as you are. I have mud and dirt all over me and all over my floor but we saved the succulents and uh we had a nice time so if there's something else stupid you guys want me to do for your entertainment uh just let me know i'm i'm here to act like a fool for you and if any other plant youtubers want to you know seriously <laughs> so if any other plant youtubers want to take on the queen we challenge you to the tiny hand potting challenge All right, so that's all the absurdity I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this. I don't know why you did, but I appreciate you. I'm sure I'll have more dumb shit for you in the future. So if you're down for that, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, share it with your friends, say hi to me in the comments, 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye.